over to the pack for the final episode of Animal World Live for the year. And what a year it's been. And we wouldn't be where we are today without you. So this is just a wonderful look back at some of the incredible moments the Painted Dog team had over the year and managed to share with you. Hi, welcome everyone. Hello, uh, welcome to all our pack members. Great to, to have you here. I'm having a nightmare. I can't seem to get any. Yuka, okay. there we go. <laughs> Hi, Mrs. Johnson. Hello, Janet. Hello, Boo. Uh, Lucille, Cat3, Marcy. Yuka's going to try fix my tech problems for me um, while I say hello. Uh, Janet, only the last episode for the year. <laughs> they will continue again next year. As you can see, I even got all fancily dressed. Look at that. See, I put long pants on. I got shoes on. You notice I got a very cool new T-shirt. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well done, we Yuka. Thank you. A very cool new T-shirt. Um, and that is a very exciting uh, thing that we are going to be discussing shortly. Um, Untamed Brewing Company, you can see. They also like wild dogs, just a little bit. And, um, oh, there it is. Ha -ha. <laughs> and uh, since this is the last show of the year, and uh, we're announcing our partnership um, with the Untamed Brewing Company. And here we go. Untamed Pale Ale. Yay. Yay. Well, you don't drink beer, Yuka, so that means there's more for the <laughs> oh, rest no, of us. Oh, no, more for you guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. um, so very excited for that partnership, and we're going to be doing quite a few projects with them in the new year, and uh, we'll find out more about that next year. But uh, very cool. So if you do ever, for our South African guys, see this out there, go get some painted ale, <laughs> um, and a portion of the proceeds from the beer goes to... Uh, wild dog conservation so very exciting we're very happy to oh doesn't that sound good oh my word. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh yum i'm gonna let that settle i didn't do a very good job pouring <laughs> um i've been running around today chasing stuff so yeah very 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 cool and very excited to be partnered um with there we go sorry brian i should have put it down properly there we go the painted ale um you can see uh, Oh, oh dear. Every, all my technical things are not working today. So, Gremlin in the air. Um, so, because it is the last show of the year, we're not going to do live cams today. We've got a bunch of epic videos from what's been happening over the year with Painted Dog. But, of course, we would never forget your pictures. So, that will be coming up right now. And I really am struggling. Oh! Beautiful. A yellow mongoose. Vim is very happy. <laughs> so I think between the slender and yellow, I'm not sure which one's uh, yeah, Vim's favorite. That's true. Favorite. <laughs> Vim tells me he can't choose um, which is his favorite. Mm. Now, they are obviously very cool. And the Kalakadi Transfrontier Park is the best place to actually see really? them. I have never really seen them too many oh, times. I think so once fun. or twice in my life. Uh, particularly at some of the camps. They come right up to you. Really? They move around in the campsites. That's um, really cool. Yes, Janet, apparently I'm not a bartender. Um, <laughs> so, Definitely yes, don't not. waste it, Brent, I won't. Uh, Janet, I think it is only available in South Africa for now, but it will be available uh, coming through. Hello, Julie. Um, but, yes, awesome picture of one of VM's mm. favorite creatures, <laughs> uh, the yellow mongoose. Now I have my stuff working. Okay. I now feel a bit more calm. But, so we've actually been rushing out and we were tracking lions. Yeah. And we had to rush back after tracking mm. lions um, on Quenga, which is also quite an exciting mm. thing. And obviously there's going to be a lot more information coming out about Quenga. So Quenga is next door to, to Pridelands. Pridelands mm. And they form part of the, the same reserve, so they do traverse over each other. So we're very excited uh, to have a partnership with them. And then Gaiti Pride and the Cubs have been spending yeah. a lot of time down there. So I actually just got a message now as I was rushing back from um, the owner that the lions were in front of the lodge no. with the cubs after he just no. came back. So, yes. Yeah. That's so um, sad. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's been happening. So yeah. that's been but quite exciting. But it was exciting. successful. It we was, did we, have a visual. We, we walked um, mm. today. We walked in the riverbed and we saw lots of vultures. And we found a single lioness yeah. on a massive kudu yeah. bull kill. 
That's so yeah, we've, we've had yeah. a very good good afternoon, and that's why I'm a little flustered with all my tech stuff. <laughs> <sighs> but anyway, carrying on. Okay, let's see whose picture's up next. Oh, Carl. Lovely. Collared dog in Zululand. Nice. So probably, I'm guessing, Carl in Kuku um, or maybe in Kuz. Um, and of course, those dogs are monitored by uh, the Endangered Life Wildlife Trust and Wild Dog, I mean, Wildlife Act. So very, very exciting stuff there. That is a beautiful picture, mm. a very pretty dog. Very nice. Looks like a boy, <laughs> just judging by the size of his head and whatnot. Mm. But beautiful picture, Nice Carl. lighting, yeah. Okay. Okay, very stuff. Let's see. Um, hello, Peter. Hello, Thad. Um, Marcy, always great to have you here. Uh, Janet's exactly exciting. More places to visit. And, of course, VM is working very hard on being able to get us live signal down there. Currently, there isn't, but we do have a plan for the new year. Um, and lots of exciting mm. news when it comes to uh, some of the live stuff that's going to be happening next year. Very and exciting. I'll start telling you a little <laughs> bit now. Um, and uh, it, it is going to be very, very... Very exciting. Um, indeed, love those eyes, mm. Mary. Those wild dog eyes are indeed beautiful. beautiful. Okay, let's see whose picture's up next. Oh, Halkhart, that is a oh, wow. brilliant picture. Now, um, that is a sidewinder, it's a type of adder. Sure. Um, and uh, you get them in the Namib. Okay. In Namibia, and, and sometimes in the, in the southern Kalahari. But yeah, they that's bury very themselves cool. in the sand like that. Now there are different species. This could be. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing this one is from Southern Africa. Okay. But it might actually be. Um, the other species. Uh, other species are. from there. There are some in North America and in South America, wow. um, and I think in the Gobi Desert in Asia, really? as well. Oh wow! Yes. So yeah. I Hello, Judy. So. <laughs> Hello. Um, Marcy, we're very very happy to have you here today as well. Uh, thank you, yes. Happy International Cheetah Day. Yeah, um, that's yeah. true. And uh, that's been exciting. We've been doing some work with Cheetah. Unfortunately, mm. oh, I see my comments now. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we, <laughs> I didn't notice that earlier in my rush to get changed to look semi-decent for the last show of the, um, <laughs> the evening uh, or the evening of the year. Um, but yeah, very, very exciting. Um, it is indeed very cool. So that's incredible uh, camouflage they're using yeah. to, to ambush prey. Very, very cool. I have seen them in Namibia and in Botswana. I was in Gobi Sands before. I didn't even think have of that. Have you been to Gobi? Yeah. Wow. It was very good. Cool. It was a university uh, trip actually for me. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cool. Very cool. Well, it's mm. one of the largest deserts in the mm. world. Mm. And That's of course, cool. if you remember your history, what's <laughs> the Gobi famous? Why is the Gobi so famous? I know. We just went there as a part of a school thing for the university. So I wasn't really focused so on another thing. The, <laughs> the trade routes through the Gobi. Mm. were controlled by Genghis Khan, and that's what helped him expand his, mm -mm. his empire, connecting India and China, mm -mm. mostly. So, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Hello, Amanda. Um, okay, let's see whose picture's up next. Oh, I'm going to take a sip of my pale ale. Yo. Mm. Perfect well, for Cheetah Day. Perfect for Cheetah Day. Mara, October 2019. I wonder if that's one of the girls I used to follow around. Could be. Um, depending on where it is. I mean, we were lucky enough to spend a huge amount of times with Cheetah while we lived in the Mara. Um, so, yeah, that was absolutely, that's beautiful. Beautiful just, shot, yeah. Just eaten something. <laughs> Had a meal. Very nice. Ah, here we go. I'm going to have a nice little taste now. <laughs> no, mm. I can't really mm. drink beer, but you're making me jealous. Do you want to have a taste? Maybe. Have a taste. Maybe. Of the painted ale. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, maybe we'll have to. Do you want one, UK? No, oh, I don't think just so. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see whose picture's up next. And, oh, wow. oh Junie, lovely. Cheetah nice. Brothers in the Serengeti. Serengeti. Um, and, of course, International Cheetah Day. We're going to end on some cheetah. Mm, of course. Now, uh, most of you watching should know. Um, that a cheetah, what is it, a, a group of male cheetahs called, Yuka? Coalition? It is indeed a coalition, um, and it is awesome. Uh, some very big male cheetah coalitions. The biggest one I've been lucky enough to spend quite a lot of time with, and uh, they're called the Fast Five. Uh, <laughs> Fast five, five male male cheetah in the Masai Mara 
Catherine, indeed, I shall have a drink for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so as I said, we're going to start telling you a little bit about what the plans are for next year. Lots of very exciting plans. Um, and hopefully, slowly but surely, uh, the, the pack will grow with you. Uh, uh, of course, we've got the travel, mm -hmm. painted dog travel. Um, we've managed to see some incredible rates to some amazing properties here in the Lofeld. And uh, if you want Kenya, we're looking at as well, expanding That'd up into cool. Kenya. Um, and uh, lots of different uh, accommodation types to try to suit everyone's budget. And uh, we're very, very excited. We're very quite far down the road with painted dog travel being launched. And then, of course, the virtual conservation experiences. But I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later. Because first, what is up first? Ah, and uh, we're going to start go back a bit earlier in the year uh, to one of Veerman, my favorite sightings uh, on the Ritzbrate Game Reserve. And, of course, with Bucket and BB and the Ritzbrate Pride, uh, when we found a secret waterhole. And they're at that little pass. Uh, yeah, I'll just about back onto it right now. It's been an absolutely exciting morning tracking lions on foot. Brian's first semi lion charge, it wasn't even a serious one, she just went whoa, 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 from about 30 meters. And now they've made their way. Oh, look, you can see them playing behind me. Um, and I'm getting them on the long gun. Now they've made their way to sort of what we've been nicknaming the secret water spot that Brian and I found while we were tracking them two days ago. So, very exciting. Look at them all playing, isn't that cool? The playfulness of youth extends through all animals of our wide world and lions are no different. However, their play is helping them hone the skills that they will need to one day become efficient hunting and killing machines. Bucket and Bibi, now over a year old, still have the mischievous playfulness of youth and can't help join in with the four smaller cubs. So we've got a little surprise for you for the last uh, show of the year. We're going to get to meet some of the faces who hide behind the cameras and computers here at a PDTV. <laughs> so you can see there's a very nervous looking Melissa. <laughs> Hi, <Yeah>. Melissa. Hi. <laughs> um, uh, I'm just going to answer a question here quickly. Uh, Bucket and Bibi are still doing very well. And Bibi means Bucket's brother, Pam. Um, but yes, yeah, so now is your chance to ask... Uh, some of uh, the behind the scenes crew questions and uh, we'll try get them to answer. You know you need to speak up a little, Lissaki. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Xander, stop playing with your microphone. You shouted at me when I played my microphone. Oh. So now, now you don't <laughs> play with your microphone. Yeah. Um, well, here we go. Hello, Eggsy, yeah. says Barbara. Um, Marcy, such joy, thank you. So, of course, a lot of you would have been talking to Melissa when booking private virtual safaris um, and with the different yeah. uh, fundraising for the dog collaring that's happening tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and, of course, Zander is the man in charge of cutting uh, everything together. And Melissa does thumbnails as well. Yeah, and yeah. all the um, thumbnails. For yes, for the shows. There we yeah. go. Lots of hellos to <laughs> Melissa and Zander. Pam, Mrs. Johnson, R, Laura Moore, Julie, Canadian. Um, so everyone's saying hello. So if you could do have any questions, now is your time because they can't run away. I think Zander might need some. I'm not going anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's happy. Join us up there, Zander. Oh gosh. Here we go. So give him some liquid courage. <laughs> do you want some this again? I'll have some. There we go. She sniffs it first. Look at her. All fancy schmancy. Yeah. <laughs> Delicious. Mm. Mm. I think everybody's just yummy. happy to mm. see us. Wow. Very yummy. So remember the painted, painted ale. Um, so lots, still lots of just fantastic work, Melissa oh, and Vimpy. Hello, Vimpy. Oh, Vimpy, Vimpy oh, saying hi. Hi, Vimpy. Oh. Um, <laughs> Mars wants to know where did the nickname Eggsy come from? Uh, that is from James Henry. Yes. Oh. My kinda. Long story short, my head looks like an egg. <laughs> you can take your hat off. 
<laughs> yes. Oh, and uh, also with his, uh, his, 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 his name, Zando with an X. Yeah. And uh, in Zulu, uh, oh, Zando's being attacked by Katie did. <laughs> um, off goes the Katie did. Um, uh, is uh, Makanda, spelt with an X. Oh. I think that's where it came from now. <laughs> Here we go. Um, everyone, lots uh, of fantastic work. What's it like to live and work with a, with crazy man Brent? Yeah, I think we're all crazy, yeah. 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 Um, my dad's got a wonderful saying that he uses a lot. The world's full of normal people. There's enough of them. And I think we're very blessed not to have a normal soul at Painted Dog TV. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. true. You're going to meet the rest of the crazies. Though. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Velma, how many people in the crew now? Well, you're going to have to count as they yeah. come on and off tonight. <laughs> is, um, is Brent ever grumpy? <laughs> yes. I think we're all grumpy. <laughs> yes. oh, I'm yes. not going to lie. No, no we're, we're all yeah, grumpy. We all, we all have grumpy yeah. days. Um, yeah, if I don't sleep enough, yeah, you get grumpy. I can get very grumpy, yeah. yes. No, if um, doesn't eat. Then she can get yeah, yeah, yeah. too. <laughs> Melissa, Melissa gets hangry. Yes, yeah. I do. I yeah. get very hangry. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, the world would be dull if it was full of normal people. Now, um, we're going to take one or two more questions um, <laughs> uh, uh, for, for Zander and Melissa. Roslyn would like to know what's it like working with me. Uh, honestly, I've learned a lot from, from Brent, especially also in the bush. But I cannot do what he does. And I can't do yeah. what they do. So, There's not a, yeah. a chance I could do what you guys do. But I mean... I'd pull my hair out. We I still yeah, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, well guys, Melissa Zander, it's going to be a daily adventure with Painted Dog. Yeah. Yeah. And now, um, well, we're going we're gonna to say thanks and again, a big thank you to you guys from us for all your hard work and efforts this year. And we definitely wouldn't have grown to where we are without you guys. And you're very appreciated and loved. And uh, talking about that, we're going to go to a Zunder Solo special. Filmed, Hello. edited, oh all by gosh. Zunder. Let's have a look. We've got lions fighting hyenas. We're not sure what's happened. The, my, the lions we had this morning, the might have made a kill. Just saw hyenas dashing out of here, looking... They're the lions, they're the lions. Let's go in there. Lots of hyena action. This is absolutely incredible. Lion coming racing in. So what I think is happening here is the lions were heading straight towards the hyena's den and these hyenas are actually luring them away from the den by inciting a fight even though there's no carcass or meat to fight over. Initially I thought they were fighting over a carcass but now I'm almost certain that these hyenas are trying to keep the lions away from their den. <coughs> Absolutely incredible. 
incredible. I think the hyenas were leading these lions away from their den and they've now succeeded. The hyenas have moved off. I think they're gonna be keeping a close lookout on the lions though. Now that was of course the incredible ladies of the Ingati Pride here on Pridelands with the Pridelands Hyena Clan. And that was shot oh, not even a kilometer from where we're sitting right now. Now of course we have our next guest who a lot of you will know and love well. Although these days his thumbs t tend to be naked. Oh sorry folks, the naked thumb. I'm sorry, the thumb's a little bit retired these days, you know, taking a bit of a back seat. No, we're too busy. <laughs> Way too busy. Way, Way too, too busy. busy. So, yeah. of course, as you know, Brian is our, our first camera on the live safaris and in general. Yep. He's our, our, our number one cameraman. <laughs> uh, and uh, he also edits mm. the live drives. Yep. Makes those incredible t-shirts. Yep. And caps and buffs and what what yep. on, on Teespring. So, Brian's a bit too busy. He's, he's making t-shirts instead of drawing on his thumbnail. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing a bit of everything, you know, these days. Graphics, editing, editing filming, yeah. it's all happening, you know. <laughs> Never a dull moment out here, sure. Lots of hellos for Brian. Nice um, and of course, um, hey everybody. For, for, hey for, for, for those who have been watching us from before the Panther Dog days, mm. we have to. The Killer, Killer Bees! bees. <laughs> Back, reunited. United, yeah. <laughs> we did a few National Geographic television yes. shows together. We had Hosanna and Chungilef playing in a tree. Mm. Um, so again, now this is a chance um, to ask Brian some questions. <laughs> what have you got for me, folks? What have you got for me? Uh, Marisa <laughs> says, great to have you um, back behind camera. Mm. Uh, lots of hellos from Lepidus, mm. Ju both Julies. Uh, Julie McInnes says exceptional footage all the time. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Marcy would like to know, what is the latest thing you've learned from the professor? I mean, that must be Vim. The the mad, anyone's a professor, yeah, it's Vim. The mad professor the in mad the AFC. The mad professor FC. making all those things. Phew. Sure. There's actually too much to learn from Vim. His yeah. mind, his mind, it confuses the rest of us immensely. What he does, it's actually unbelievable what he's actually accomplishing out here. And we just... He cracks the whip, we we're, follow. We're, we follow, yeah. Yeah, we'd, as Brent always says, it's a black magic. We, yeah. we, we really don't know no what he's doing. Vim's <laughs> um, tech is Vim's uh, tech. Yeah. One day we'll show you his workshop, his, his, his inside workshop. It's a bit scary. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah it's, it's an old walk-in <laughs> freezer. Yeah. You can just close the door and yeah, solder away. Mad things happen in there. There's even hooks, old meat hooks, hooks hanging the from the ceiling. Yeah. It's, it's quite something. Um, <laughs> I Laura Moore wants to know, how did the thumb originally come into being? That is an actually a very interesting question. The thumb started with the live safaris. I used to just yeah. go, hello everyone, and up would come the thumb and off it would go. And then the one day I decided, hey, I'm going to draw a little smiley face yeah, on it. I, and I drew a little, very basic smiley face, put it on, and people went, yay, the thumb! The th and the thumb was born, yeah. you know? Yeah. Would that have been 2015? Yeah, would have been early 2015. Yeah. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure. Lots, and much has happened since then. Mm. Um, Painted Wolf wants to know, what editing software do, do we use? Um, we partake in the Adobe suite. So we use Premiere Pro. Um, I found that to be the best. I know the Exe also thoroughly enjoys Premiere. Yeah, VM that's what we... VM, VM... Uses, what does VM use? Vegas. Vegas. But VM's a different cat. Yeah. His, his brain works differently, so yeah. <laughs> he likes a different program. I use Lightroom mm. and Photoshop from the photo side, but I leave the video editing up to Zander and Brian mm. when I don't get involved. In that. <laughs> I don't think I have the patience. Yeah, it's time-consuming and sometimes tedious work, but yeah, it's lacquer. It's great. So, um, Marcy, uh, the Nat Geo shows that Brian filmed with a Safari Live. Mm. Oh, which series? I can't even remember now. We did a number. We did a number of series. Yeah. Yeah. Um, quite a few, I don't know. Yeah, we did. If I try and think offhand, shoo, we must have done uh, at least th four or five big cat weeks. Yeah. We did, yeah, 
Yeah, a lot. A, a lot of shows. Yeah. <laughs> many, They're many all, shows. All live as well. Yep, all of them. And we had spectacular times out there filming for the Nat Geo show. We really did some. Oh, Brian, great I mean, let's see if you would like to answer that one from Barbara. What is this one there? Um, my sleepwalking conundrum. Yeah, I figured out a lot, folks. Me going away from 2017, 2018, 2019. Believe me, I, I, I must have given a good 30 odd vials of blood trying to figure things out. At least now I know I've got allergies through the roof. I've got stupid food allergies. I can't have wheat. I can't have this. I can't have that. It's a nightmare, to be honest. Yeah, you should try um, cooking for him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody moans. I moan all the time, you know. But at least it's under control now. So now I know what's getting me and I do my best to avoid it. And life's much better because of that, you know. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Exactly. Mm. And the gym. And we're gymming. We're actually sitting in the, the gym. gym. We're in the dog pit, the, we this, call it. The, this is the gym. <laughs> but um, there might be some rain later. Yeah, there's the pull-up pole where there's we, the there it pole. is. And there's the, the, the wooden weight. Yeah, we've got some, some no, wooden. Go, go, give us, give us a, uh, give us a I'll bring up out the wooden time. weight, why not? Yeah, give us, show, show us the gym. See, this is the kind of, the kind of goodies our, that we have here, you know, in the dog pit. So we do the best actually, we can, we yeah. do the best that we can, That rope is actually for folks. my outdoor shower. <laughs> it's been repurposed. Well, it's put to much better use there, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't been camping for a while. <laughs> okay. There we go. Canadian answers. I remember the first um, first thumb. Uh, Justice, what did you do between Safari Live and Painted Dog? Um, between. Yo. So, when I was figuring out all the issues, I took some severe downtime. I actually went to visit my brother in Germany. Um, did a little bit of camping, some nice family trips around and about, you know. I did try and start a little company that didn't work out so well in the end, you know, <laughs> enough said. <laughs> and now I'm here, got the opportunity and I gave everything up in the city and came a running. I came quickly. Mm. And we're very, very happy to have you with us. Oh, thank you. And, thank and I was you. wondering if this was going to come up. Lucille wants to know, how long is your hair now? <sighs> it's really long. My hair's long, I'll take it down even. We can have a look-see, man. My hair's getting there, it's getting there. Let's pull it out here, look at this. It's very dark. <laughs> it's like mermaid hair, you know? I can cover my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's getting there, folks. I want it longer, you know? It needs to get longer. One day I'll have it where I want it, but yeah, so far, so good. Well, see, if you ever misbehaves, we just threaten them with the scissors. Oh, yeah, no, I run for my life. <laughs> <laughs> Pam Landy, Pam Landy, exact me. Who needs the city? No, no, the city, especially now with lockdown, folks, everyone's yeah. going mad in the city. Like, let me tell you, it's wherever you are, I'm sure you feel the madness, but and out we here feel, as and well. How do you feel for those that are back in lockdowns in Europe? Yes, yes, sorry to everybody. It's, it's, the world's a bit on its ear at the moment. Hopefully 2021 is the year that everything starts to improve. Mm. Yeah, exactly, and, we, we, and we'll be there, and we, and we just got to say, if we were able to bring anyone a little bit of joy in. And one thing I definitely noticed from lockdown is that people missed nature mm. and being outdoors. Yep. And I even noticed that mm. in, in, in the small little town of Hutzbeit when people couldn't go out. So I think there's been a, a, one of the biggest lessons I think that has come from um, COVID and, and whatnot is that nature makes people feel good, yep. feel happy. Yep. And it's a very important part of our lives. And, and in some ways it's healing. It is. And we are more than happy to bring you the best shots out there, folks. Exactly. <laughs> Until you can come visit us in person. Yes, of exactly, exactly. Which again, 2021's One. the year. Hopefully things will be improving immensely for everyone. Uh, thank you, Catherine. You always bring us joy. At Nocturnal mm. Nature, we pray indeed. Mm. Um, Brian could do a fairer faucet post. <laughs> Sheesh. And I did. I missed it a bit earlier, <laughs> but uh, there's been some requests for some beatboxing. Beatboxing? You know, you're going to rap for us. Bring I can't it. rap. My name is not James. Why? why? You know. No, we, you're solo though. Yeah, I'm just solo. Sheesh. Solo. Haven't, haven't done a little solo in a long time. Let me see if I can still do it. Oh, 
That's all for now. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank well you. done. Yes, no, I've learned not to do any musical things. I can yeah. track lines, I can track wild. Yeah, Brent's a master in the bush, but, but no. musically, knee. Music. Nee, I'll take I'll take on anyone at the track. Yeah, yeah and the, of course. And, and the walking up to elephants <laughs> and sneaking on buffaloes. But I've learned where I'm. I'm and I, I wanted to be a rock star when I was about nine. Yeah. Yeah, I even tried to learn how to play the guitar, and the guitar teacher said, "Like, bro, you just—I'm just taking your money." Because <laughs> <laughs> you have no, you're tone deaf. Um, there we go. Oh, I'm head nodding. Yes, you still have it, says Barbara. Yeah, well thank done. You. Love the beats. Um, we are, we're going to have to do some. Uh, so, so there's been some rec uh, ideas. Maybe we should beatbox a track to one of the videos for next Ooh, year. Maybe. I think that could definitely be done. Yeah, Liam, we can do Liam that. can pull out his um, his mouth trumpet. Yes. Uh, I don't, I don't even know how he does it. Yeah, he does some, some outrageous sounds. His yeah. trumpet is one of the best mouth trumpets you've ever heard. Yes, yeah, Vian's got a proper <laughs> mouth trumpet. Okay, now of course, um, we were lucky enough for the first hard lockdown uh, to be stuck in the incredible Reedsbrate Reserve. And uh, because of the lockdown, we ended up doing some things that we didn't normally do, mm. like fixing water pipes and stuff. And occasionally, we got some visitors. Just found the pack. We found the pack of wild dogs. Incredibly exciting. They're coming back towards the road. We've possibly got our first sighting of wild dogs on Prydens. Uh, they appeared at the Eco Training Camp Dam. Oh, the guys in front of me you can see it. Hold on, everyone. There we are. I stick with one of the dogs. Yeah. Okay, welcome back again. Um, thank you to Nocturnal by Nature and to Darcy Ann. Much appreciated. Um, very, very exciting. Um, don't worry, you'll be seeing them. We've got a few more people to, to introduce you to first. And then we'll bring everyone on. Well, I think except whoever's um, having to do final control, which will probably be Babu. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you guys doing? So it's awesome to have you, Babu. Um, Babu is obviously now, how long have you been with us now? It's three months and a week, I think. Three months and a week? Yeah, it's really much. Um, and we're very excited to have Babu as part of the pack. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've met a man of his age who works harder. That is a fact. Oh, thank you. And uh, we are just <clears throat> unbelievably happy to have you with us. Uh, Babu is up 
when I'm up and he goes to, well, maybe not goes to bed when Vim goes to bed. No, no, no I don't think anyone. No. <laughs> maybe Brian goes to bed when Vim yeah, goes to bed. So, um, yeah, so, um, Babu, um, we've had some fun. We have. It's been really, really great three months and a week. I've enjoyed it, I've learned a lot. Um, yeah, it's, it's been really good. I've been, I've been really good. And you were here for the elephant cam installation, weren't you? No, I wasn't. Actually. No, you, you missed weren't. That. I haven't, you missed it. I missed that. Yeah, the second one. I did. The second, second one. Second okay. not the first one. The first one. The first but I think one. we've got a, a bit of a highlights of some of the installations. Yeah. yeah um, so let's go have a look. Okay, something's gone a little bit haywire. Um, we are live, so sometimes things don't go quite according to plan. Um, so yes. Um, Vicky says hi, bubble. Bubble. Bavu, B A V U. Bavu Kile. Bavu Kile is four, and then Bavu is short for Bavu Kile. Thank you, Sharon. How did left this? Is that right? Okay, uh, Vim is ready now, so let's uh, have a look what's happening. On day five or so, I'm working on the tree, Peter. Vim, what's happening up there? So um, we dropped this out of the tree last time we were here and then something ate it. Something ate it. <laughs> something there had was, a nibble. There was a brand new screwdriver. Not bad for the morning's work, seeing something like this. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Yeah, I have to figure out how to move this thing. We are busy digging for the new elephant cam, and the elephants are already ahead of it. Of us, there's Brian. Howdy, howdy. And um, we have broken ground for the new camera, and it should be coming up soon. Easy quick mount. This is just for temporary for the test. Yeah, I'll put it somewhere like that. Well, welcome back. Isn't that incredible? Now, when that camera goes down, off goes Bubble. 
up sometimes in early mornings, but yeah, yeah. can't complain. No, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Bob was also enjoying his painted ale. Yeah. It's delicious. Mm. Uh, Catherine says you miss climbing trees. Do you miss climbing trees? No, I enjoy climbing trees. Yeah. Right. I, what I about the knob thorns? I don't seemed... know why you guys choose those <laughs> kind of trees every single time. <laughs> it's I've... because they're the tallest ones, and we've got to choose the biggest ones. If the elephants aren't going mean, to push down. I always see other trees around, but you guys there's, always choose. There's that a one. reason we choose one. those. No, it's okay. The, but the, so the elephants, oh. they got the big ones that the elephants can't push over. It's just not nice climbing those in the middle of a live event when it's under pressure. Like, and you know, there's thorns. Thorns everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to stop yeah. and fix myself. But what can I do? What can I do? Fred? <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Sharon, and thank you, Patty. Um, R.R. Moore, what is this? Yes, here we go. Um, it says you're very handsome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, lots of hellos from Mrs. Johnson. Catherine says she misses climbing trees. Um, oh, Pam was joking. Don't answer the phone. Babu, uh, what did you do before joining the pack? Mm. Oh, I was actually at home because of lockdown before joining the pack. Um, I finished school last year and then I went straight into work. I was in corporate, I was working in finance. Um, I couldn't do routine so I left that and I wanted to find myself back into the bush. So um, eventually, uh, after a few months of lockdown and at home with parents, I eventually joined the circus as VM says VM say, the circus, yes. <laughs> and that's it I decided to contact Brent and VM and I found myself in this amazing place and, wow. and since then it's been truly and I can say Bubble wrote an email that had VM and I both blown away um, uh, he is a man old beyond his years and uh, his work ethic and just general positive nature around oh. around the around the den just makes him an absolute joy and a very, very important oh, part of the pack. That's the nicest thing Brent has said to me in very long. Now, normally I'm shouting at him. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, yes, uh, a budding tech genius says, um, <laughs> says Boo. What a handsome young man. Right. Velma would like to know how old are you? I'm 19 years old. 19, 19. but as I said, he's old beyond his years. Yeah. Um, Mars, finance to the bush, fantastic to move to the opposite side of the fence. Indeed. Well, there's still finance in the bush. There is. <laughs> That's why we have a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, someone's got to do it. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. it's, it's not ours. Uh, and not us at the moment. Um, everyone's saying great to have you. Um, thank you, Bavu. Um, Dennis, we're doing very well. Um, yeah. So it is always great, and, and I must say, I'm just incredibly proud of the, the, the people that the, the pack seems to attract. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have a negative Nelly amongst us. Um, as everyone knows, we do. everyone gets grumpy from time to time, but most so people here... Yeah, not me. Will, not me. No, not I'm, you. I'm always uh, happy. I was always happy. <laughs> um, we'll work deep into the night, and um, there's one thing that we are, one little saying we have, there's no such thing as not my job. Mm, yeah. um, and uh, I'm just incredibly proud that everyone here gets stuck in whenever it needs to do. And of course, tomorrow, Ooh, oof, tomorrow, the yeah. world's at, well, first ever uh, live wild dog collaring. And uh, Bubble's going to be very busy. Yeah, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. Um, so, VM will be doing tech in the field, and Bubble will be running the show. From this side. Second yeah. time, not the first second time. Second time? So no, less I know. Yeah. Less pressure. Less pressure, pressure second time. Yes. Thank you, Darcy. Um, Bubble, what is your best experience since you've been um, with us? Ah, that's a, that's a tough one. I don't know. Um, I can't think of one for you. You can't think of one. I can't think of one specifically. There's just been so many amazing things that I've, I've got up to from, um, like I said, installing cameras and Going out alone to actually fix the Wi-Fi and the internet that yeah. was that was very cool. Um, climbing a tree alone, and yeah, that was that was really cool. But there's been many, like I said, I really can't choose. There's been so many great memories and moments, and yeah, it's just been really incredible. Yeah, and we're very excited about tomorrow. So so is everyone. Um, and uh, there's the link there for those of you who don't know. Now. Um, it could happen at any time tomorrow. We'll be heading out in the morning and I think we'll be going live on updates while we're looking for the pack, etc. Yeah. We have a general idea where they are. 
Um, but uh, Bavu and, and Yuka and Zanda will be holding the fort here. We'll have studio here. We'll have all the wild dog clips for you guys to watch. So they um, will be going. But we will try possibly do the collaring as late as possible. So you guys don't have to be up at an ungodly hour uh, in, 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 in the US and uh, North America. <laughs> Thank you, Arla Um Janet, what time is it starting? It could go any time from 8 a.m. Central African time, mm. um, but probably it will pick up after 12 p.m. Um, we're going to go look, look for the pack. As I said, we have a general idea where they are. Um, but, of course, wild dogs are not the only things we look at. And uh, here on Pridelands in particular, we're incredibly blessed with the elephants, and we got to meet a true gentleman of the bush 25 meters from the house, and his name is Izawini, the one from heaven. Isn't this absolutely incredible? Right in front of our house is one of the great Kruger Tuskers, Izoweni. Izoweni means heaven, and I am literally in heaven with this big tusker. Hi, big guy. Visiting the new den site. And hopefully we're gonna be seeing quite a bit more of him. A very relaxed big boy. So absolutely incredible to have one of the greatest Tuskers left in Africa on our doorstep. And I for one cannot wait to spend more time with Izawini, the one from heaven. What an amazing elephant, and we are so lucky um, that he does grace us with his presence here on Pridelands. Now, uh, a lot of people are asking how old is he. Uh, I'd probably, I'm not 100% sure, but in his 40s, uh, maybe pushing on 50 would be my guess. Now we've got someone you haven't met yet who's um, joined us for the last, how long, how many weeks now? Two. Uh -huh. Yeah, just, just under two weeks. Just under two weeks. Yeah. So Nick is our, our latest intern. Hello, hello. Welcome, Nick. <laughs> Thank um, you very much for having me. Is this your first time on a live show, Nick? Uh, I would, yeah, I think so. <laughs> that, that, that is correct. Okay, good. Um, a bit nerve-wracking, but yeah. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, so amazing to see the big Tusker. Um, he, he spends more time, Julie, in this area, the, the Tusker, when, uh, during the dry season. Uh, during the wet season, he tends to wander a bit more. I know he's quite far to the north of where we are at the moment. 
But uh, Nick, so while I'm, I'm going to uh, preempt some questions here. So uh, you've course. been with us for about two weeks, so the shortest yes. start of everyone. Yes. Um, uh, you've been on some adventures. Oh, there are definitely some really, really great adventures. And uh, so what's, what's been the most exciting so far? Oh, well, today you were fixing cameras. Yeah, so t today was quite interesting going up and uh, fixing the cameras up at uh, CSCON. Um, but yeah, I, I think probably the best would have been the other day going and chasing the, the lion pride as they ah, were go going on the hunt. Yes, in the rain. Yeah. It was a bit, bit cold, but I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. It yeah, was exciting. It was, and they, but they did they, they didn't they did what lions normally do. They get you really really excited, exactly, and then you wait. Yeah, and they lie down and go to sleep, <laughs> even yeah. though they're by below fifty meters from them. Exactly. And I think we did yeah we did a good four hours easily yeah. out there in the rain, waiting for them to try eat the buffalo, and yeah. they didn't. Um, Sadly. Well, Marcy would like to know, Nick, what's your speciality? Sure. Okay. In terms of well, what? I think let's let's give everyone a bit of background. Nick is okay. still at university. Yes. So I'm still currently studying nature conservation out in Cape Town. So a good few hours from home, being out here. Um, a speciality. I'm I'm not too sure exactly. Still figuring it out. Yeah. So it's, it's still getting there. Still getting there. So yeah. So yeah, that's Marcy. Lots of hellos from Vicky, Mrs. Johnson, Darcy. Um, yeah, but so Nick is. Uh, this is his. Well, I suppose your holiday job. Yes. So to speak, yeah. um, and then back to university next year, studying nature conservation. That is correct. Starting back up in Feb again. Uh, Canadian, what drew you to painted dog? What drew me? Um, luckily, having family connections, yeah. knowing, uh, yeah. having, yeah. I mean. So our grandfathers were best friends. Sure. Best friends. Yeah, that's, back that, in the day. Back in the day, yeah. Goodness. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> how uh, Nick ended up with us. Yeah. Um, Marcy would like to know, it says, fabulous, what would you eventually like to end up doing in the bush? So, I haven't decided exactly yet. I, I'm still going to specialize in my study further and figure out from there, but most likely something to do in a management role of running a reserve. So, more so, on the conservation side, yes. general management and that's all correct. that type of stuff. Wow. Yeah. Exciting stuff. Lots of hard work. Oh, without a doubt. Lots of tire changing, which you're getting quite some practice at, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we change a few tires. Now, it's still a bit dirty from doing that, but yeah. I mean, you know what? It's got to be done. Oh, tires. <laughs> what are biggest problems? Well, no, it's biggest band of our lives is changing tires and getting <laughs> tires fixed. Um, yeah. But of course, uh, something that might be very unkind to a tire if you leave your car too, uh, too far out in the bush, um, is hyenas and of course our pride in hyenas are very special and uh, one very fine day out on my own here at pride Lins, I had an incredibly special encounter with some of the youngsters of the pride Lins clan. I set off to find a male leopard and uh, three little hyenas found me. What an amazing little walk here on the incredible pride Lins. Naughty hyenas. Sit down in the road and see if the hyenas come to me. Oh, I think one has just seen me. No trouble. Sorry about my number three. Here I am, hanging with my hyena buddies.
<laughs> I think there's my frost behind me. I wondered if it was not a lion or a leopard, so I quickly checked behind me. Make sure it was a lion stalking me. I'm going to stand up. Hi, guys. They disappeared behind me. I've got to go pick up Uncle Viam. Oh, off we go. Jumping back to the den. Almost checking if my three little hyena friends aren't tracking me from behind but it doesn't look like they are so I better go pick up them um, I'm probably late already but definitely worth it hi little badger let's go that was definitely one of my favorite encounters that I've had uh, on Pridelands and I, I do have a special warm fuzzy place in my heart for hyenas and uh, spent lots of time with them. Now, someone who prefers mongoose to hyenas is, of course, the one and only Viem, uh, uh, who uh, I wouldn't be able to do <laughs> anything without. So, cheers, Viem. Cheers. But a mongoose and a hyena is like they're family. Cousins. They're yeah. cousins. They're family. Mm. Yeah, somewhere mm. way back when. Um, <laughs> but of course, so now you're with the, the two of us, mm. painted dog. Uh, the, what did they call us? What did the kids mm. call mm. the OGs? Oh, yes. The original gangsters. Mm. Um, and it's it's hard to believe that in uh, January 2019, eight, was it 18 or 19 we started? I think 19, yeah. 20 now, yeah. Two, yeah. January 2019, mm -hmm. there was two of us and a, and 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 no plan, mm -hmm. a bit of a sniff of what yes. we were going to do. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a camera. I'm gonna go out. We're gonna film some stuff, and I'm gonna talk some nonsense. Yeah, that three, first three months was chaos. It's always chaos. We smashed more cars than we smashed footage. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we smashed cars. Um, we were filming off very basic equipment. Mm -hmm. Borrowed um, your dad's Land Rover. Borrowed my dad's Land Rover. There was no badger. Oh. Thankfully, my dad let us borrow his <laughs> Land Rover. Sorry, dad. Um, <laughs> there was some dents that mm -hmm. I put some bad dents in that Land Rover. And uh, the ones we nearly thought we actually destroyed mm. it. That's when we bought the Badger. That's when we bought the Badger. We thought if we break that, it's going to be a lot more expensive than getting our own car to break. Mm. 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 So lots of love for them. Hi, mm. them. Mm. Patty never mm. doubted either of you. Mm. Um, them is rocking that wild man of the bush look. <laughs> it's actually, just because my hair's falling out. Yeah. <laughs> well, the beard's getting quite big now. It's compensating. It's compensating. <laughs> So VM, VM's, uh, I'm not, I'm not, you talk about your, your hair, I'm not going to get involved. The last person mm. I teased about going mm. bald got quite sensitive about that. Mm -hmm. That was James. Mm. I could just walk behind him and see the, <laughs> the they're getting bigger. Mm. Now, of course, one of the things that we've prided ourselves um, at Painted Dog is doing conservation-based work. And uh, it is definitely a labor of love because there's not, in terms of, reward financially a lot in it but over the the, the long term i believe and vim believes and charles it is incredibly important um, that we give back to the animals and to the people that are helping to save the animals and here we've managed to do a couple of world firsts from a conservation point of view and uh, we'll speak a little bit more about that now i've got some ho ho in my ear um a, a little bit later but uh, i think one of the world firsts we managed to do this year uh, was of course a live elephant collaring in the Timbervati and Klaseri game reserves, which was absolutely crazy. So we're just letting everyone work, work quickly. So as Joel was describing earlier, very important to keep the elephant breathing, to so always pop a stick in the trunk. You can actually see how his breath is digging a hole. So what we did of it earlier is we plucked some of the tail hairs from the elephant. We take three hairs per elephant and that's allowing us to look at the DNA of the elephant. We can also look at isotopic analysis, so what the elephant's been eating over a seasonal change. Let's go annoy the birthday boy a little bit more, see what he's up to. Yeah, sorry guys, so this one's a bit of a bloody affair. We're just taking a little, little tissue sample here from the ear. And this is just an antibiotic wound spray that Roan's got here that we're just going to spray on there. 
It stings a little. Yeah, and then I'm just going to hold a little bit of pressure so that the bleeding stops. And take this here. Yeah, so guys, this is essentially, this is, this is pretty much perfect. Where he's dropped here, it's a massive open area. This is exactly how we want him to go down. He's down on his side. We've got the stick in his trunk. We're very happy and comfortable that he's very stable in this sort of position and we're happy to keep him down for a period of time now. And uh, poor Vim didn't actually get to see much of that. <laughs> his, uh, he was in the back of the, the green mamba with his head in his computer. Um, and uh, we learned a lot on that. And yes. I still remember two days before that, that we didn't know how, <laughs> how he was going to get the signal out of there. <laughs> Put a pole. So before, mm. sitting there trying to point a, mm. a dish at a mm. mountain, sort mm. of, but we couldn't see the mountain because there were clouds. Mm. And <laughs> yes, trying to yeah. sit with a, a, a cell phone and a GPS, mm. trying to figure out exactly how to point it, where we're going to point it. And they told us it can't go beyond 40 kilometers. Yeah, yeah, we got up to 50 and that, no, that last 60. one. it was 60. It was 62 Ks. Yeah. So, From the Kassiri. Yeah, yeah, it was 22 yeah. kilometers further yeah. than the equipment was supposed to be able to send a signal. Vim made it work. Uh, and it was, uh, yeah. As I say, Vim <laughs> makes magic in his little black boxes mm. and in his... Well, one day we're going to have to show the workshop. Ooh, it's so dirty. <laughs> yeah. I better get Nick in there to clean it. Yeah, <laughs> shame, poor Nick. <laughs> ah. Now, of course, a lot of you who are here with us now are some of the most important people to us, and that is our patrons. And uh, we love being able to take you guys um, on Patreon-only virtual safaris. And, of course, one of the best ones we've had uh, was with Yuka. And we went off. I disappeared off tracking Pixie Pan and Cubs, and we did manage to find them and see, as far as we know, the first recorded kill that those Cubs have made. Let's just keep checking and uh, say tracking after the rain is incredibly difficult. See if there's any tracks or something you can tell me that. Let's do that. Yuka, guess what? You're driving. Huh. I'm going for a walk. Seriously? Yeah, so I'll meet you on that old road, literally in the same place where we spotted the line. The one that growled at you. Ryan, we have to keep our eyes out. We never know what Brent is thinking. Like he might, you know, he might charge us like a lion will do. So the hyena tracks. Hyena has been everywhere. Yay, Ryan, there's a the sun. I'm feeling the sunshine for the first time in a while. <laughs> that was a that was a miracle track. Yeah, I know. It was just tiniest little things. I was looking at the tracks and I was like, wow, there's a fresh in the wet sand. And then I looked up and my little cub was moving no. away from me. So I walked away and round. Oh, this is actually a cub. That's a cub. Yeah, that's a cub. She's going to walk through. So you can see from her behavior at this distance, not a problem. I think it's for all. Yeah. And are going to get another nice view of them. And, it, and this is really important to know when to push climbing the tree after the squirrel. Oh, we're going to get a kill. We're going to get a kill. It's going to the corner of the squirrel. The squirrel just jumped. He's gonna jump into the other leopard of the cloud. <laughs> Did they get it? They got it! They got the squirrel! They got the squirrel! That could be one of their first kills. How awesome! Thank you so much, guys. I mean, amazing comments coming through. Julie, Linda, I'm a patron and part of it. Uh, Julie, I remember the drive I was on it. Um, ambitious kitties. Um, that was a great drive. Poor Yuka <laughs> being sent off on her own while I went stomping around. Um, had, Marcy says, we love being on the patron drives. 
And we are working at the moment to hopefully be able to do more um, live drives for the patrons. And uh, there might be a little surprise coming later uh, in the year. Maybe one last big surprise um, before most of the pack take a well-deserved holiday. So Brian and Zander and Melissa, Bavu, Yuka um, will be heading off and it, it'll be uh, back to the originals yeah, again for a, for, <laughs> for a while. It'll be Brent, Vim and, uh, and Charles uh, holding down the fort on, on the side for till the 20th of December. Somewhere there. Somewhere yeah. around there. So there might be some uh, interesting, exciting things coming. Now, we've got one last clip left, and I know a lot of you have watched it, but I just want to chat to you guys quickly about some of the very exciting things coming up in the new year. So obviously COVID has completely changed the world. Whether we had planned for it or predicted or whatnot, none of us could ever actually truly understand the effect and the ripple effect that it's had over many different industries um, and uh, such as conservation, tourism. And with African conservation, a lot of that is actually funded by tourism. So we put our thinking hats together, yeah, myself and Charles, and uh, we still want to make sure that we are able to contribute to conservation, even though um, there might not be tourists coming. We're hoping the tourists will be coming as soon as possible, because that's obviously people's livelihoods, jobs, etc. Everything's affected. And as a lot of you will have been affected as well, and it is not only us out here in the bush or in Africa that have been heavily affected, the whole world has been heavily affected by this. And the one thing we can hope is that we all come together to help each other and those who can help do. And uh, that is why from next year we'll be launching the, the live conservation events. And what these are, are basically us trying to fund conservation events because the reserves do not have uh, the money or the finances to, 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 to look after this without tourists. Um, so there will be a bunch of world firsts again happening next year um, and uh, there will be a, a chance for people to become involved um, from a, a corporate point of view uh, as well as an individual point of view um, we will be doing the live dehorning of 16 rhino um, 13 white rhino three black rhino um, and what we've undertaken as painted dog is that we will actually raise the costs and cover the costs um, and then in anything above once uh, all costs are covered um, we will do a 50 50 split and donate that directly to the different reserves and organizations we're going to be working with um, apart from that what else we're doing uh, we're going to be doing some uh, open surgery mm -hmm. live on lines so the the lines of retrograde are going to be getting um, the females are going to be getting their, their tubes tied and of course in a small fence reserve if the lion population grows too big it's going to affect all the other animals and this is a way um, that we will be able to keep the lion population stable uh, over the over the next couple of years and obviously the the one incredible thing about having the, the fallopian tubes tied is it's not permanent the vets can undo it so later if you wanted to breed or the lions had a, a, a uh, were killed by a buffalo or an elephant or whatnot and your population got too small you could enable the females um, to to breed again we're going to be doing a lot of wild dog stuff with with endangered wildlife trust um, we're going to be doing some cheetah collarings uh, as well live um, what else am i forgetting here Vim? Uh, i don't know if we can talk about everything well there's a big <laughs> one let's just say it's got to do with elephants and it's never been done before mm. And we're going to do that live but i can't really say too much more about that right now and i am forgetting something doing lions rhinos black and white cheetahs might get a penguin cam elephant oh, <gasps> penguin cam coming soon mm -hmm. yes yeah, so we are in the process of getting a live camera uh, that will bring you penguins um in the western cape and and, and simon's town um so that's going to be really really cool because um the well they're now called the african penguin mm. do you remember what they used to be called jackass the penguin. jackass <laughs> penguin they were called the jackass penguin because their calls are not lovely <laughs> they sound like a donkey braying mm. so um we are working on getting a penguin cam so that'll be very very cool mm. and of course live cameras will be expanding again as uh, soon we will have an global dam cam yeah we did lose the one last night we did lose one yeah. last night I, during actually the brought it with 
Oh, there we go. Say goodbye to it. Say goodbye. Is it dead, dead? Yeah, it got water damage inside. Oh, I can even get water out of it. Mm. When I... so that might look quite strange, but mm -hmm. when you work with the um, type of stuff we do, if you go and water comes out of there, then you know there's a problem. Mm. Um, maybe make Bubba take it apart, see if you can fix ah, that. I tried. It's a... Oh, you tried? Those things are so sealed up. They're sealed. <laughs> okay. Um, exactly, mm. Mrs. Johnson. As I said, everyone's uh, world is... Uh, being completely affected by this COVID, uh, and we are going to be able to hopefully expand and bring money back into conservation while giving people wherever you are in the world the opportunity to take part. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're very excited about that, and we've been working very hard on that. And 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 a lot of the tech and stuff um, that Vim has been working on is basically enabling us. We're hoping we will be able to go live anywhere south of the Sahara mm -hmm. uh, as long as we're not in a rainforest. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and uh, we've got some interesting partners we've been talking to from the conservation fields. Of course, we are unbelievably thankful um, to be partnered with one of our, well, one of my favorite organizations for many years, even before Painted Dog, which is the Endangered Wildlife Trust and the incredible work they do. Um, and uh, just to let everyone know, I think uh, we've raised $1,500 for tomorrow's event, which will cover all the vet costs, all the fuel costs, everyone up and down, and, and that incredible amount of work uh, that goes into doing something like that. And uh, we just thank you all those who donated. Um, uh, we really do appreciate it. And as I said, only uh, next year onwards and upwards. Uh, and uh, we've got one last clip, and uh, we couldn't not show you the highlights of a live release. So for the last while, the dogs have been used to the Impala being dragged into their car, into there, and you'll see they might come running up now, thinking they're going to get a free meal. You can see the adults coming much closer. Isn't this absolutely riveting? Well, hopefully they don't manage to steal the Impala before it gets to the tree. So this is going to be a little bit different from what they're used to. So let's stop moving, Brian. Let's stop moving back to the vehicle. Some of the adults have come out, but the adults are out, the adults are out, the adults are out. They're following the carcass. Isn't this absolutely incredible? Remember this, guys, this is live. Um, Janet, the wild dogs are not a threat to human beings. There's actually never been a recorded case of a wild dog attacking a human being in the wild. Okay, let's get ready. Let's go jump on the vehicle. Um, let's give them as much space as possible as they need to get out. Okay, welcome back everyone. As you can see, we've got everyone except Pavu and Charles. Hello. And Charles. But yeah, we're not gonna say why Charles isn't here. <laughs> Charles? 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 But anyway, um, for those of you who haven't yet downloaded the Painted Dog app, it is available on the Android and iStore. Um, and there you can get some really great content and chat with each other in an awesome, uh, safe place. The app will be being upgraded, uh, travel will be launching, and of course the app is going to have some very exciting features that we're going to be launching with Endangered Wildlife Trust next year, where you guys are going to get to be able to do the IDs of wild dogs and name the wild dog if you're the first to identify a new dog from pictures. So we're going to be getting lots of pictures from all over uh, the greater Kruger area and you guys are going to help with the citizen science and we're very excited about that. So there's a lot of upgrades coming on the app in the new year. Um, of course, the travel. Catherine, you will be seeing us again. We're not completely gone. Uh, <laughs> this is just the last Animal World Live of the year. Um, we're around, the full crew is around till the 14th of December. 
and then VM Charles and I will keep going till the 20th of December. So you will be seeing us from time to time, live, not live, um, but we're looking forward to that. Um, and of course, we wouldn't be here without you guys, our patrons. Thank you so much. Um, and even those who are unable to, to become a patron just by watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing, you make a huge difference. And we really appreciate your continued support. And uh, we're going to grow onwards and upwards with you. And we guarantee we're never going to forget you who've been with us since day one with Brent and Veerman and an iPad. That's, 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 that's how Animal World Live started. No cameras, no. Now we've got multiple angles, microphone. It's incredible. And as I said, we would not have been able to get anywhere near where we have um, without your continued support. Of course, to the incredible um, landowners who let us traverse on their properties, um, Anton on Prydens, Mike on Quenga, um, the Ritz Breit Game Reserve, the Stenbach family, Ledwood Big Game Estate, Kyan Lovell, uh, a massive thank you to them, to Led Lenzer, uh, and of course to our latest partner, um, Untamed Brewing with the Painted Ale. Um, I think there's some very happy people with uh, the latest partnership. And of course, uh, we'll be doing quite a bit more work with all of our incredible partners in the new year. And uh, we'll hope you'll be there with us. But don't worry, we still will be giving you some snippets of joy and uh, live wildlife uh, before Christmas. Uh, and of course, don't forget to go check out. Um, Brian's going to have some really cool Christmas mm. Teespring's coming, coming Teespring's land. Um, thank you, Mary. Um, but just a huge amount of love from all of us here at Painted Dog. Oh, I nearly forgot um, the auction of the gin and the. Oh, Zander's going to help me because I'll probably knock something over. Um, we're going to we're going to save that for next year. So um, we're going to auction off an incredible handcrafted rare gin. Um, of course, also supporting Endangered Wildlife Trust. And then, yeah, the, the, the print is an original or a, a limited edition print. Uh, it is still in its bubble wrap. We don't want to undo that. And it's, of course, from Kyle, um, who's a great supporter of Painted Dog. He has donated these items up for auction. But we're going to do the uh, auction uh, next year. Uh, and uh, we'll probably do it for the next Wild Dog event. And, uh, but tomorrow, don't forget, uh, we're going to be doing the first ever live wild dog coloring with the endangered wildlife trust grant beverly i'm uh, very excited it's probably going to be on thorny bush private game reserve but just keep a look through the day we're going to try to do it as late in the afternoon as possible and um, so most of you are, are going to be able to join us but we'll be heading out there tomorrow morning to see if we can find the dogs etc so again oh thank you so much julie um get the app be part of the pack we love you long time, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the world's first ever live wild dog coloring. Bye, guys. Wave, everyone. Well done, guys. Uh, I'm surprised that that app didn't work through the NDI. Oh, isn't that amazing?